Now, Mr. Tyler Perry, high browed Negro threads, I found this post by Mr. Tyler Perry. <laughs> wow. And I do think that this is a really good example that any artist or creative who creates a substantial platform like Mr. Tyler Perry or even close to it, but even if you are a creative from a smaller amount, that's fine too because this also can apply to you. I do love the work of the earlier Tyler Perry. Now I haven't watched his latest video and what I've understood is that that video has received zero tomatoes, rotten tomatoes. Not just tomatoes, rotten tomatoes. Tyler really, really, really worked hard, right? If you read his story or you heard his story, you've seen his story, you can definitely see that over a decade, he did not have the success that he has right now. He persevered and made it to a place where he could build an empire and even pay people the amount that normally would not be seen for black actors and actresses. So I think that is a huge commendable thing. Not a lot of people can step into such a huge foot print, right? He really set the mark when it comes to being someone who creatively, artistically set his own platform and also gathered people to support him, to put, you know, the you know, the money in his bank account, but not just in his bank account, he definitely has shown what he has done with the money and how he wanted to support other people, create new stories, <laughs> which is kind of debatable. Anyway, let's get into it. So here's the beauty of how he eventually grew. If you really take a close look, and this is something that any artist and any creative should be looking at, is that when you start telling the story of the people that you would like to gather right you want to collect your supporter it is really important to understand that there is a certain emotion there's a certain story there's a certain change that people are looking for in their life to happen and tyler has made it his business to perfect and to work and to edit and to alter and eventually present the story that really resonated with not just men and women specifically black men, black women, and even more specifically, women who are faith-based. And have brought him on the screen, on TV, and many other places where he normally would not have the opportunity to do so. It has even led him to really produce, right, distribute, and be the owner of his own work. He could therefore set his own mark, his own rules, and work with whomever he wanted to work. We cannot discredit the work that Mr. Tyler Perry has done just based on this particular statement. But and however, when it comes to critique, rejection, right, criticism, you should be open to that. And here is why. Because Mr. Tyler Perry did not get to the place where he was by himself. Now remember when I said he came there, of course, with the help of his supporters. These supporters paid him the money for the service, the product that he was delivering, the movies, the stage plays, merchandise, TV shows, all of those great things. But it's not just the exchange of money and product. Mr. Tyler Perry was able to tell the stories of this particular group so well. It was as if he was looking into their soul, into their heart, into their mind. And he translated that, of course, in all of the work that he has created. People resonated with that. It wasn't instantly because it took some time for him to tell the story over and over and over till people start to see it, till people start to feel it, till people start to open up to it. Until he basically found his people, his tribe. And that made him skyrocket to the place where he is right now. That led to people opening up their purses because they wanted to know more, they wanted to hear more. They finally saw a representation of who they were as people that you normally would not see on TV or on stage plays or anywhere else in media or on social media. You would not see that. He made that happen. Now here is where we have a problem. 
Mr. Tyler Perry has every right to experiment, to change up, to alter, and to use different methods when it comes to the work that he has, present, has been presenting. But based on the last couple of movies, I do have to say that they are starting to get to a level where things are getting below his own par. When we start to see boom boxes and one scene a woman has a purple wig and the next scene a woman has a blue wig, we start to see scenes and people have the microphone right here. <clears throat> when we start to see movies and they look like each other, it's like copy paste. Not all movies, but definitely the last couple of movies. <clears throat> when you start to be in the beginning, the producer, the editor, the, the writer, the, the, the creator, the originator, of course, you're going to be that in the beginning because this is your product. This is something that you have to deliver. Until you come to a point that in order for you to excel and keep on going, there is a huge chance that you might have a blind spot, especially if you grow to the magnitude that he has grown to. If your group is a little bit smaller, it's easier, you know, to control things. You have more control over the things that you do. When it becomes so big, you do need a huge team. And people have been screaming for a long time, like, Mr. Perry, I think you need to, you know, call in some writers because the monologues and the dialogues are not hidden. One thing that any creator, any artist, and that also means Mr. Tyler Perry needs to take into consideration is that even though we do create from a place where there is a self-fullness, you are making it for the people. You are making it for the people that have made the decision to support you with their money. And they support you with their wallet, with their purse, with their pocketbook, with their debit card or the credit card, with the PayPal, the Cash App, or whatever it is that you're using. They are deciding to support you because you speak to the feeling, you speak to the change that you have made into their lives. And whenever that stops to happen, when people start to see, well, wait a minute, who are you making this for? Because it's not for me. then people start to disengage with it. People don't see themselves within the story that he has so beautifully told them in the beginning. And I do believe that he still is a great storyteller. I do believe that he's still a great artist. Every artist will have a moment where things are not going their way. So this might be his moment. I just don't think he's dealing with it really well, especially if you're calling people high brow Negroes, his words. Not mine. I understand because we can be very sensitive about our ish. And it is in our benefit to listen to the criticism of our audience that we are serving. We are serving our audience. It is our audience that brings us the support that helps us grow but also invest into our own work, our own creativity. So that is something that he definitely needs to take into consideration. The benefit him is to remember that these people peeled their purses open so that he could build a platform for everyone else also to enjoy from, but also that he could build himself the way that he did. He did not do this by himself. Even the bootleggers, even, even those people helped him get to the places where he wanted to be. Because if it wasn't a good enough uh, stage play or movie, do you think that people would bootleg it? Well, exactly. My point, it doesn't have to come from a place for, oh, I'm so humble, I'm so humble. No, it doesn't have to come from that place. It has to come from a place of gratitude. Because even in the moments where people are criticizing you and they're giving you constructive criticism, they're letting you know what is going on and why you're getting these 0% rotten tomatoes, you should take heed to that. You should open up your ears and your mind and your heart. You should start remembering what the reason was that people were so drawn to your stories. Why you were so, so successful in telling those stories. Okay? So I definitely think that this is something that we can all learn from. Don't ever forget that your supporters, your investors, your patrons, your, your fan base, if you want to call them that way, your subscribers, they come to you 
because they notice that you make a change in them. You speak to a feeling that they have. And when you understand that feeling, you will nurture it, you will respect it as well. See y'all at the next story.